Today, we're diving into the complex and often tumultuous political landscape of Zimbabwe. Grab your tea, because things are about to get intense. Let's rewind a bit. Do you remember the Gukurahundi massacre from the 1980s? A dark and painful chapter where the army targeted and killed thousands of Ndebele-speaking people. Fast forward to today, President Emerson Mangagwa has started a program to address these atrocities, but here's the kicker. Many survivors are skeptical. They doubt the sincerity of a man who was allegedly involved in these very atrocities. So what's in this program? It includes exhumations, issuing death and birth certificates, and community discussions. But many believe that true healing can only start when the government genuinely acknowledges its role and offers proper compensation. The Ndebele community feeling marginalized seeks real reconciliation and justice, moving on to the broken promises of reform. Hopes were high after the 2017 transition and elections in 2018 and 2023. But guess what? Menangagwa's administration has failed to deliver. Media freedom, voter registration, security sector reform, still major issues. The 2023 elections were criticized by international organizations for not meeting democratic standards. The opposition, led by the Citizens' Coalition for Change, or CCC, called for a rerun or a unity government. They cited widespread irregularities. The CCC is urging regional and international actors to pressure the Zimbabwean government for substantial political reforms. They emphasize the need for an independent judiciary, a fair electoral process and security sector reform. Let's not forget the recent elections. President Mangagwa secured victory amidst accusations of fraud and voter intimidation. Opposition leader Nelson Chamisa and the CCC alleged significant electoral malpractice. The election process was marred by reports of violence, restrictions on journalists and irregularities in vote counting. These issues echo Zimbabwe's long struggle with electoral integrity. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. So, Mnangagwa recently returned from the China-Africa summit to some unsettling news. There's talk that the military is against his bid to extend power. Yep, the very institution that played a crucial role in his rise to power may now be his biggest obstacle. With a history of economic mismanagement and political instability, Zimbabwe faces an uncertain future. The disputed election results and the government's reluctance to address corruption and lack of transparency further erode public trust. So, what's next for Zimbabwe? Will Menangagwa manage to navigate these turbulent waters and extend his grip on power? Or will the military and opposition forces rally enough support to bring about substantial change? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Zimbabwe's political landscape is anything but predictable. Stay tuned for more updates and deep dives into the world's most pressing political issues. Remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay informed.